Hello my friend, click those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue. If you did that, then big thanks. Today's patient is Audio Technica ATH and 50X with one side not working. Today I'll show you how to repair this defect. First of all, try different wires to make sure the problem is not in damaged wire. It can happen very often. If sound is missing even when using other wires, then problem is in the headphones themselves. You can also take a look at the hinges of the headphones. Sometimes wires get damaged in those spots. If there are no visual defects on the wire, then we have to open up the site that is not playing any music. Remove the earpad, but make sure you're ready, because putting it back on can be painful for your nerves. Unscrew all four screws and place them somewhere where they won't disappear. Carefully open up the headphones and remember which part is. Check the incoming wire to see if there's any damage. Switch multimeter to continuity beeper or resistance mode to check if wires are not damaged starting from the jack plugged into audio source to speakers. Wires are intact and signal reaches the speaker. While measuring the speaker itself, we see that it does not show any resistance of the wire. That means it's dead. And that's the reason why there's no sound. Model of the speaker is HD125E. By searching it in Google, you can find various internet resources where it can be purchased starting from $15 to $40. Another option is to write to Audio Technic yourself and ask for it. Audio Technic will direct you to the nearest dealer who will be able to sell your placement speaker. After a while, I got my hands on HD125E speaker driver. Unscrew the three screws and open up the housing that holds the speaker in place. Remove damaged speaker from its socket and turn on your soldering iron. Unsolder the wires and remember which contact is connected to which colored wire. Replace the damaged speaker with a new one. Thin the contacts to which wires will be soldered to. That will make soldering much easier. And then of course, solder the wires. But remember how each color was soldered on the old speaker. And here's the new speaker with soldered wires. Now we have to somehow put everything back as it was in the beginning. You will need to turn the loudspeaker's pressure cap for a while until you find the correct position to screw it in correctly. Then tighten all three screws. Don't forget to put on the acoustic pad. Then put both sides of the headphones body together. Tighten the screws but with feelings to avoid damaging it once again. And now the hardest part. For some it will take a few seconds, for some days. Press the I button in the corner to find out why. The idea is very simple. You have to put the earpad's edge or rubber lip around the groove in the headset's body. Hold the inserted part with your fingers so it doesn't escape. Meanwhile, put inside the remaining earpad's edge or rubber lip in the groove. And that's all. Earpad cushions are in their place and that means headset is repaired. Now let's check with music sample or multimeter. As we can see, now both channels have resistance. Everything is ok and that means we are done. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this guide very useful and learned something new. Don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons to support my DIY activities. As always, see you in the comments section if you have any suggestions or questions. And now, see ya!